Well, Steve Huff, you finally pissed me off. So, as some of you may know, I have pulled away from the channel. I'm not posting as much because I have a larger project that I'm working on that's unrelated to paranormal. And so I was scrolling through YouTube today, doing some research on some construction uh, uh, techniques, when I ran across this. So it turns out the Ocean Gate sub has imploded. All five people on board have died. I'm going to turn on my spirit box and ask about it. This is Steve Huff. So it it hasn't been a complete what 24 48 hours since it was announced that that the ocean gate has met its catastrophe and Steve Huff, man, you hopped right on it. You came right out with the video, didn't you? You know, this is... I would like to think that I've been fairly good in regards to keeping my opinions to myself and not really coming out in any kind of attacking way. But this time, you know, you've gone way too far. You've gone way too far with this one because... This incident just happened, and it wasn't like these were older people, like what you did with the Queen. These weren't older people who we knew that their time was coming up. This was a tragedy. This was, in my opinion, this is probably the worst way any human being could go, is through, through that type of death. And to me, this just proves a point that you're opportunistic, that you are the vulture of paranormal. And the reason the reason I'm saying this is because I work in marketing, man. You know, I know how to read Google Trends. And right now, the, uh, um, uh, the topic of this, I'm looking it up right now, of Ocean Gate. It is up. It is way up because of the tragedy that happened. Now, here's the thing. You know that your videos aren't getting the views that they used to. You used to get you know, a million views, a couple million views on your, on your videos a few years back. Now you're getting 10,000, 5,000, maybe 20,000 on a good video. And you know, because of the timing of all of this, you know that if you hop on this, because it's a hot topic right now in the news and in Google search, that if you do a video on this, your views are going to go up. And yes, your views are going to go up. We're going to probably, probably see a spike on that video. But here's the thing. It is because of people like you and because of Cody ITC that you are cheapening what people out there in real paranormal are trying to do. People who are with the Parapsychological Association, who are working in universities trying to truly understand this. People who maybe don't have the funds, um, you know, who maybe all they have is a PSB7 uh, um scanning radio and they're still trying to get their own answers but you come out with stuff like this you know there's there's a tragedy that takes place and man you hop right on to your your guitar amplifier and and here's 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 what i think is from an artistic point of view that i think is fantastic about this is that you shoot it in black and white you have your very calm and and soft voice that comes through and you have the piano music playing in the background and it's all very serene and it's all very all very peaceful and it's and it's it's all for love but it's not it's an act it is all an act and people are starting to see through it more and more you know I spent six years getting two degrees in business and psychology. So I know what it takes to research, what it takes to try to prove something. You haven't proven anything. You, you say that what you have is scientifically proven, but it's not. You want it to be, but it's not.
you have opinion that you put out there. And you make other people believe your opinion. Now, for those who are, who are drinking your Kool-Aid and who are going to have their opinion on this video, you know, I'm sorry, you know, believe what you want, do what you want. I know that I'm going to have people unsubscribe from me. I'm going to have people, I'm going to have a lot of hate messages come through and that's fine. That's fine. But Steve, you got to stop. All right. You've got to stop. If it's all for the money, if it's for the views, because you and I know as being YouTubers, subscriber count doesn't matter. It's the views. And how long can you get them to watch? Because that's where your money comes from. You know it and I know it. All right? And you know that if you can tap into anything that's hot at the moment, man, you're going to be right on it. That's exactly what you did. Not even 24 hours later. And you come out with this video. Shame on you, Steve. You need to stop. Um, I know you're going to have your opinions. Go ahead and put them down. Uh, in the comment section, say what you want to say, but I stand by what I said. I stand by what I believe. And <laughs> Steve, you're not fooling anyone. Anyone who can, who truly understands paranormal, who truly understands um, just life, they see what you're doing. And more and more people who are in, who are doing real paranormal. They're coming out and they're speaking out about you. India, the country of India, has already shut down three of your videos. You know the ones I'm talking about because you had them removed off your channel. Sushant Singh. How is it possible, how is it possible for any creator to piss off an entire country? You managed to do it. Because they called you out. Their videos are still up about you. Yours are taken down. Man, you know, you really need to rethink what you're doing. Seriously, you need to rethink what you're doing because you're going to have more and more people come out about you. They're going to have more and more people give their opinions about you. You know, you, you, you stopped doing your, your photo uh, channel, um, you have your technology channel, focus on your technology channel. Make a, make, make, make a channel that focuses on bald men growing beards. Make a channel that focuses on how to sneak away into an unknown environment. Something. But this that you're doing, this death seeker type of mentality, this opportunistic Let's, let's see what's trending right now. Make a video about it. It's fine if you're doing entertainment, if you're doing sports, you know, but in this particular niche, when people are hurting, their family hasn't even had a chance to grieve yet and you come out with this. Man, that's just... It's tasteless. It's immoral. And all I gotta say is... is just shame on you, Steve Huff. Shame on you. All right, guys. I'm out. Take care. Bye-bye.